Well, as summer comes to a close and you get the kids ready for school, some parents are also having to get their kids ready to face allergies. And today I'm joined by Dr. Jennifer Connor of Virginia Hospital Center and also Ram Sharif, the director of One Life Fitness, with more on allergy season for kids. Good to see you both. Welcome. See you. Thank you for having us. So this is an important time for parents. I mean, most school systems don't go back till later this month or even in early September. So there's still a couple of weeks. What should parents of children who have allergies, Dr be doing now to get ready to, to send them back to school. Right, so I think the most important thing that parents can do is to get their school action plan and their medication forms completed. In addition, they're going to want to make sure that the child has the medications that they need with them at school. So for allergies, that would be Benadryl and an epinephrine pen, which I brought. The uh, old EpiPen, right? Yes. yes. It is important for the teachers and um, the, maybe even some of the parents at school to know if there's a severe allergy specifically nuts. Parents can call ahead of time and see if there's any nut-free tables. And they can also even encourage other parents to try to avoid bringing in food products that contain nuts. Peanut butter is obviously very common. It's so common, and I think schools are getting better and better with uh, yeah. identifying nuts as a big trigger. What are some of the other allergens that kids might encounter at school? So there's just the seasonal allergens. So ragweed is very prevalent in this area, so that can cause a lot of runny nose, um, watery, itchy eyes, um, even sneezing, mm -hmm. coughing, headaches. Right. And then you've got dust. Right. Right. Yeah. And mold. And uh, then there's, uh, you know, asthma that you might get if you're uh, doing recess outside, for mm -hmm. example. So that kind of triggers. Uh, oftentimes, Ram, you get asthma that's triggered by exercise. Tell us about that. I think the best way to treat exercise-induced asthma would be to A, uh, to Dr. Connor's point, is to be proactive. Make sure your child has the appropriate medication with them at all times. Uh, before any physical activity, if... Uh, you know, you have, let's say, uh, the doctor has prescribed an inhaler. You can use that 10 minutes before any aerobic exercise just as a preventative. Um, the second thing would be to also communicate to the staff, you know, letting them know um, that the child has uh, exercise-induced asthma. And then also, you know, making sure that the child does a proper warm-up, stays hydrated, mm -hmm. and then maybe even avoiding, uh, you know, if there's a high pollen content outside, just avoiding that just because that increases yeah. the risk of an asthma attack. And doctor, would you say that asthma is on the rise uh, in school populations? Are you noticing it more and more? I, am, I don't think that it's necessarily on the rise. There's probably just more awareness ah. about it. Um, so I guess the inhaler is so important for the kid to have. Can kids um, bring inhalers with them to most schools? Yes. And, and keep them on their body, on their persons? Yes. The albuterol inhaler, which is what we call the rescue inhaler, is very important. Um, some kids will keep it with them. They certainly can. Um, and some will just keep it at the nurse's station. For, as he was saying, the exercise induced, you want to really make sure that they can take it 10 to 15 minutes before they start the activity, uh, have it with them as needed during the activity and afterwards. We do recommend that the children have what's called a spacer to go with their inhaler because it helps deliver the medication into their lungs more uh, appropriately. So best tips now as we head into school, uh, being in contact with coaches, with teachers, with school nurse, and letting them know, have that communication that your child has allergies and here's what we can do for them and here's what they're going to be bringing with them, that kind of thing? Correct. And we also really want to make sure that they fill out that school action plan because the action plan helps both the teachers and the nurses there to let them know when to give them medications as well. All right, good to talk to both of you. Ram Sharif is a fitness director with One Life Fitness and Dr. Jennifer Connor with the Virginia Hospital Center. Good, important message talking about allergies as we head back to school. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, coming up next here on Good Morning Washington,